Happy birthday to you. Good morning from sunny St. Andrews by the Sea, and of course, I had the Algonquin Hotel. Hey, Mr. Fries, Jana Jensen here. Hello, Mr. Fries, Ron Healy here. Hey, Mr. Fries. Hi, Mr. Fries, it's Story. Hi, Mr. Fries, it's Mary LeBlanc. Hi, Mr. Fries, it's Cindy Bartlett. Mr. Fries, Louis Baxter. Hi, Mr. Fries, it's Harry Lamming. Mr. Fries, Jim. Troy Cleft. Hi, Mr. Fries. This is Karen Gray. Hi, Mr. Fries. It's uh, Stefan Mueller. Mr. Jim Fries. Steve McMillan here in Halifax, class of 87 and onwards. Mr. Fries, a.k.a. Jim. Hi, Jim. Jim? Jim? Hi, Jim. It's your old buddy Leon. Happy birthday, Jim. Hey, Jim. It's uh, James Tingley here. Hello, Jim. Mr. Fries. Stefan here. Happy birthday, Jim. Hey, Uncle Jim. AKA Dad. Hi, Dad. It's BB. Hi, Dad. Guy Ratchet here. Hey, Dad. You're who kill up here. Dad. Dad. Should we tell the Algonquin staff now that they're not really Dad's kids? Uh, we can keep it going a bit longer. Hi, Mr. Fries, or Dad, or Jim, or the few names we may have called you on our ridge runs. It's Dean McNeil, 1987 to 1991. Uh, Mike Bone here, or Buffy, as you may know me. Hello there. It's hard to believe that it was almost 40 years ago that you hired me for the summer. You hired me in 1987 as a bartender, and I was fortunate enough to work for you for four years. Uh, it's been about 30 years since I worked with you at the Algonquin. Macy, when did I work there? 85, 86, 87, 88, and 91. Wow, I must have liked that job. Thank you for hiring that gang of capers during the February blizzard back in 1987. Uh, we worked together at the Algonquin, 88 through 91. I want to thank you for hiring us after we drove through a snowstorm in 1987 in Cape Breton. We started in 87, like a lot of other people, stayed till 90. Oh, I hope you have a great day. I can't believe this spring will be 35 years since my first summer at the Algonquin. All the time I was at the Algonquin, you were the best boss I ever had, and I miss those runs we have with Lyndon and the boys. Looking forward to another one whenever we can. I look forward to uh, getting back on our ridge runs with our good friend, Leon. I worked at the Algonquin many, many moons ago. I worked at the Algonquin from 86, 87, 88. An official member of the Butt Buddies. We did have a lot of good memories, didn't we, Jim, at the Algonquin Hotel working there. Many laughs and a lot of friends. And we, those memories will last us. Probably one of the best people I've ever worked for. You are a joy and a good man. Thank you. You are a true inspiration. You're a superstar in my eyes, and I have the utmost respect for you. You were the best boss ever. You were my benchmark boss, and no one else ever measured up to you. You're the best boss I've ever, ever, ever had. Something I'll cherish all my life. And the fact that we have managed to get through that tumultuous time was in large part due to your guidance and understanding. Well, I hope you have a great day. Best boss I ever had. To the point actually where I feel bad for every other boss I had afterwards because they could not live up to the standards and ideals that you set in my mind for what a boss should be. It's your fault, Jim, that I'm pretty much unemployable. Um, it was an honor and a privilege to work for you. You're a respected boss and a great mentor to me. And more importantly, you're a great friend. Your mentorship had a great impact on my career over the years. I'd like to thank you for all the years of your mentorship and just a great example as an awesome leader. We didn't know that we were gonna have such a mentor, a gentleman to lead us um, through our hospitality careers and to inspire us in our lives. And uh, I enjoyed it so much. I was there for five summers altogether. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for not firing me that first week that I worked at the Algonquin. Uh, it was a formidable time in my career and life. You were such a great leader, a mentor, and one of the best bosses I will ever have worked with. Well, I hope you have a great day. Under your leadership, we learned so much, we had a blast, and it, they were some of the best years of my life, so thank you. No, I never made security report. In that busiest summer of 87, on one of the busiest days, I came behind the desk and pondered that rack, all its purple and yellow and reds and greens, and he just gave us a look, a calm reassurance that said to us, you got this. 
And I wanted you to know that you were the most amazing boss and the best GM the Algonquin ever had. You know, thank you for uh, some great years working with you. You were a pleasure to work with, gentlemen, always impeccably dressed, style, elegance, and never breaking a sweat under any circumstances, which is very inspiring. You were so kind, kind enough to come down to my, well, which one it was, 80, 85, 90, or 95. But anyway, it's getting closer off there. It's <laughs> probably the best GM I've ever had the honor to work for. I have such fond memories of that time and and all the things uh, that we learned and, and you were always such a good leader. And... Hello there. Thanks again for your leadership too. I think you really helped to show what uh, leaders should be and how they should project themselves. And I think that served a lot of us well as we progressed our careers. I still hear your advice in my head sometimes and uh, I'm very grateful for the years that we were able to work together. Had a lot of fun, worked really hard, but had a lot of fun. You're a great mom, wishing you many more. Anne and I talk often of our days at the Algonquin, the good times we had, which also means we talk about you a lot. I love you, sir. You were always such a classy gentleman, uh, even in the most difficult of circumstances. We've been better because of you. Great memories, great war stories, a great time in my life. You were a mentor and some would say a dad. Um, and if I were to rank all the general managers I worked for, it would be Jim Fry's, everybody else. I remember Birch Cove parties and evenings at Loon Bay Lodge. Great golf tournament to finish off the season. We definitely didn't want to disappoint Mr. Fry's. And I don't know whether you realize it or not, you changed a lot of people's lives. When we looked at you with that steady style, elegance and class we wondered how we could be like you you're calm cool collected unflappable unperturbable demeanor no one's gonna be like you no one could copy that because you are the algonquin you are the boss and you are the best well, i hope you have a great day uh, my sincere apologies as well for uh running a golf cart right smack into the middle of a tree uh, during a very festive end of uh, season golf tournament. The lifelong friendships that came out of that gang of amazing people that you hired back in 1987. You were the ultimate professional. Thank you for everything. Hope you have a good birthday. Thanks. Some of the best people I've ever met in my life and a lot of us are still in touch and I couldn't ask for more. So thank you very much for everything. The Algonquin was uh, a very formative time in my life and I met and made some of the best friends that I've ever known at the Algonquin. Uh, one of them being Judy, my wife. Uh, th these are people that you can be away from for years at a time and then meet back up with and it's like you were never gone. I well, hope you have a great day. Hello there. We wish you the most happiest birthday. 80 years old, I can't believe it. And I wanna just say that Jim is our friend and also as Bibi would say, dad, we love you and you thank you so much for all you've done for us throughout the years. I hear that you're turning 80 years young and wow, that's amazing. The summers of 87 and 88 are ones I'll never forget. My wife and I own and operate a houseboat company and it's a great time, but nowhere near as exciting and glamorous and debaucherous, yes, as the time I spent in the 80s up to, up until 91, actually. I want to thank you for the most awesome years of the Algonquin. The relationships I formed in 87 specifically, and then right through till 90, they're great friends and they're still great friends today. And it, it's so much fun getting together with them. And it's so much fun to talk about all the great times we had with you. I never made security report. Everywhere you go, when you talk about it, with anybody who's worked at the Algonquin. Well, I hope you have a great day. I know how much you're loved, and know how much you're appreciated, and I hope you have a great day today. Bye. Some of the best friends I've ever had. So anyway, Jim, I'll be thinking of you, and I wish you all the best for your 80th. I'm sure you will have a happy day with your family and friends. And if I were a little younger, I'd be there with you in person. Uh, your birthday, I hope you truly have a wonderful, wonderful day, surrounded by friends, families, and I wish you the very best. I earned my blue blazer in 1989. It's a little snug. Uh, not all of us have our teenage bodies like Dance and Dean McNeil. 
Just remember, age is all in the mind. In the knees, I find in the wrists and the back as well. All jokes aside, congratulations, Ben. You're turning 80, my friend. Well, you know what? I'm turning 58 in a couple of weeks, and I feel better now than I ever did in my 30s. So maybe 80 is the new 50? 80 years young. It's the new 40, I hear, and I'm really hoping for it. If you're 80, that means we're a little bit older as well. Kenny Abbott always referred to you as dad, um, which is appropriate because Algonquin family is strong and, and it's... So thanks again. Hope to see you in New Brunswick and best wishes on your 80th birthday. I oh, hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for that. So happy to be able to see you again at the reunion we had a few years ago. And I wish you a happy birthday and a happiness um, in the years to come. Have a great day. Wishing you a very, very happy birthday. So in honor of your 80th birthday, I toast you, Mr. Fries. Whatever you wish for on your, on your special day, whatever that wish may be, I hope it comes true. Take care. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. I hope you have an outstanding birthday. Thank you for all that you've done over the years. All the best to you. Cheers, Mr. Fries. You have touched so many lives. 80 years old, that's something. Happy birthday, Dad. Can't believe you're 80. Happy birthday, Dad. Hope you had a great day today. Love you. Good for you. 80 more. Coming right up. All the best. Hope you had a good day. Anyway, have a great one. I wish I was there. All the best. Take care. We think of you often and uh, wish you all the best on your 80th birthday. Take care. Jim, just wishing you all the best with friends and family and all the many memories and wishes that are being sent to you on this great day. Wishing you all the best. Have a great party. Raymond LeBlanc also wants to say a happy birthday to you. Oh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for being a part of my life. You're all the best, my friend. And as I said, happy birthday and many more. Enjoy your day. I really hope all your birthday wishes come true. Oh, I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday. So wishing you the best birthday. I need to wish you the happiest of birthdays. Happy, Happy birthday, Mr. Fries. Fries. Happy birthday, Mr. Fries. Happy birthday, Mr. Fries. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Just want to wish you a fabulous 80th birthday. Many, many happy returns. Take care, Jim. I oh, hope you have a great day. Happy 80th birthday, Mr. Fries. Happy birthday, Mr. Fries. Happy 80th birthday. A happy 80th birthday, Jim. Happy birthday, Jim. Miss you. Love you. Happy birthday, Mr. Fries. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Mr. Fries. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Mr. Fries. Just wishing you a happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Happy 80th birthday. My warmest regards and wishes to you on your 80th. Happy birthday, Mr. Jim Fries. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy 80th birthday. Happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. I hope you have a great day. Your gift to us, Jim, is one we can never fully repay. You've made all of this possible. And because of that, demonstrates the lasting influence you've had on all. So from all of us, to you, sir, happy birthday. There's a lot of singing that went on. Exuberant, late night, off key, and too loud. We didn't know it at the time, but we went right by your house. And so one day, I think word, word, word got to us in your usual classy way. There's a group of Cape Bretoners that have to either find a new route home, but definitely have to stop that singing and leave the citizens of St. Andrews to their well-deserved sleep. I think there was a fire extinguisher or getting stripped naked at a bar that maybe I remember and then using a fire extinguisher to try and exact revenge. The wharf tossing, the use of uh, company vehicles to transport things and possibly people to the wharf. Getting stripped naked on the golf course, uh, that is also another one that I didn't get fired for. Partway through the summer of 89, I'm somewhat chagrined to admit my involvement as an easily led astray minion 
in a bit of subterfuge designed to house an undocumented tenant in the lower level of the super dorm. You see, the foundling, Wanda, a giving soul, found herself without a home and it seemed a small thing. And for the duration of the summer, it was. What we did not expect was her behavior at the end of the year staff party. Had we known she'd still be in the chart room the next morning in a scandalous state of undress to be discovered by the students commissioned to clean up after us, I wouldn't have succumbed to the pressures of Vinton Clift in escorting Miss McNeil to that final party. I'm sorry for that, sir. My sincere apologies as well, running those fresh uh, skids on the fresh grass of uh, Katie's Cove one uh, Caribbean night. I can't believe you didn't fire me when I almost ran over you and Mr. Zildjian. Blanche wanted a case of beer. She made me go to the bell closet. It was one o'clock in the morning. And when I walked out, I almost ran into you and Mr. Zildjian while he was walking his dog. <laughs> you gave me a steady nod. Not a word was spoken. Not a word was said. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What are you still doing here? Stop watching the video. Go have the party. <laughs>